And I just I decided I should put this out here. Okay. Because I don't know how many people wear this stuff. But in the manosphere, I think it's crucial that you become aware of this stuff if you live in the United States. I can't speak for other countries and their mental health laws or anything like that. But I can tell you if you live within the United States borders, I don't care what state you're in. Your state has something similar in its legislation. You know, people want to believe they live in the United States and there ain't nothing united about it. They actually live in the divided states of America. Divided. Every state has different laws. But this is a mental health law. And this mental health law does pretty much go to every single state. That's no lie. Every single state in the United States has a mental health law put in place. Okay. Now, why am I bringing this up and why am I saying, all TFLers, incels, okay, men going their own way, MRA, men's right activists, men, men in general. And why am I bringing up a mental health law for men in general? See, the reality is, is, just like with the red flag gun laws that came in, it was based on fraudulent means. No lie. They actually passed a law onto us, the people, and are, in, are enforcing that law, and over here, have already seized and round up hundreds of guns from American citizens right under your noses with a law that was created by the lawmakers here in the United States off of fraudulent means. Incidences that never happened. Exercise drills taken live. Propaganda used in the media. That's right, propaganda. So they used the very lies they pulled out the rhino to take rights away from you to seize your guns. Well, it's no different with the manosphere. They're using Hollywood actors like L.A. Rogers. They used acts. They used FEMA exercise drill with Parkland school shooting. That's right. And they got these people this list of names that were off of fraudulent events and two real events. They completely ignored. That ain't even on the list. The actual real events ain't even on the list. Isn't that pathetic? But they're profiling their list. Which is what they've done for the red flag law on guns. And they're profiling their list to come after you in the manosphere, whether you believe it or not. You can turn your head. You can look the other way. You can say I'm nuts. I really don't care what you say about me. The day is going to come that you're going to find out they've passed a law that's going to affect TFLers, incels, men going their own way. You content producers here on YouTube, that's right, regardless of your MGTOW, your TFL, your incel, and your followers, yep, that's why I showed you a video that I showed you the other day with the short clip of them two guys talking. Right now, they're focusing on, on incel and TFL. They don't acknowledge the TFL name, but if you look at it, they've lumped us into the same category when we're not. It's going to be the manosphere, period. And they're going to use this to deem you possibly dangerous to yourself or society. That's right. That we can't wait until after you commit a crime to punish you for a crime. 
we need to get you before you commit a crime. And because you're not thinking with the all hive mind in the jar, and because you're complaining about what's happening to you, that's right, that you're showing signs of mental stress. Let's think about this for a moment. A lot of guys up here, especially in today's society, are so deluded. You know, I've said this a thousand times, and I'm spot on accurate. I know what I'm talking about. Even if you say I don't, you're a young man, 20 years old, and you know more than somebody who's been here 30, 40 years longer than you that was here long before you were born and out in this world living it and knowing what was really going on. You'll go back to your grandpa's age or your great-grandpa's age and you'll be 20 years old and you'll think that you got it more life experience than your great 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 grandpa even. This is how bad you have deluded your own selves. The reality is, is nobody knows what they're doing in the dating arena anymore in today's society. Not man or woman, either one. And I've said this a billion times. But they are setting you up. See, you don't have to acknowledge sex and talk about sex to understand of a man and woman really like each other and get into a relationship with each other and become together as a couple without ever talking about sex it's going to happen naturally between them and they will talk about it with each other privately not open in public this is the way it was for many, 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 many decades. It wasn't what it is now. Where the focus, where the focus from men and women has been placed on sex. You're helping them, and you're making yourselves, that's right, I'll give you an example. DDS makes lots of videos. DDS talks about incel and TFL and men who can't get a woman in their life and sex, 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 sex. All the lack of getting sex, that's right. Girls' Rights What, Karen Stroud, the leader of the men's rights movement, a feminist female, clearly made this statement right in your face. And what did she use? Oh, that's right. There's going to be a significant, which is a high number, whenever you say significant, a significant percent of men which is a high number because she said significant, that will not be fuckable. So there we are using them words again. See, men are going to be painted out as perverts. That's right. Even guys like DVS will be a pervert. He will be a sexually frustrated pervert. Because he's whining about not able to put his junk between somebody else's junk. See, we've over-sexualized society deliberately. We took something that was always hidden from the public. When you got to be an adult, you could go to a dog bookstore. They had adult theaters. You could go to watch porns. But overall, it was hidden from society. It wasn't talked about openly with anybody. Sex was talked merely between couples and stayed that way. Now, you've taken it, you've opened it up to the whole world. You've taken porn and you put it 
when it first net first come out, oh yeah, porn was on it and it costed money. And you had to prove if you were of age. Oh, but not now. No, not now. Now it's free everywhere. You don't even got to prove your age. You can be seven years old looking at porn. Now, I'm not trying to be anything other than tell you the truth. You are going right along with the agenda that's being used and being weaponized against you and don't even know you are. See, so we took a Hollywood actor and we used him for a stage show and made it look like he was an incel guy, TFL, you see. They are not discussing TFL or talking about TFL because, see, the name suggests, and we talk about root causes, which unlike incel, they don't talk about root causes. Unlike men going their own way, they don't talk about root causes. Unlike men's right activists, they don't talk about root causes. Because none of you care about the root cause. You only care about the symptoms. That's right, you only care about the symptoms. So therefore, when your car breaks down, every mechanic in the world, for all of you men this way, you should take it to them to fix because you know nothing about it. And they should go ahead and only care about the symptom and give it back to you broke. And of course, charge you money. And that should happen to you over and over. Why? Because they're just like you. They only care about symptoms. Now, I'm being sarcastic with you, but I'm also being real with you. In reality, this is what we have. You're being set up. And you're walking right down the rabbit hole with them. You're even helping them. You sure are. You're making yourself and your followers out to be perverts with mental issue pro with mental problems and possibly dangerous to your society or yourself now we have <coughs> TFLers you know the name they run from why do you think they took two force loneliness TFL and put it into the same category as incel and only talk about incel because they're not going to acknowledge TFL because TFL talks about the root cause. They don't want the man of spirit knowing about the root cause. Because that comes back on the people that's done this to us. But you don't mind blowing me off. You don't mind blowing off TFL. You don't mind blowing off the root cause. You think it's awesome blowing off the root cause. It's outstanding to just bitch and whine about the symptoms. It sure is. You're going along with them. You're helping them, perverts. I know you don't like me calling you perverts. I'm not. But the system will be. That's right. Even guys like VVS and Hell by the Dashboard Light, he's an angry pervert. That's right. And because he's an angry pervert, he'll be dangerous to society and himself. Now, I'm not being real when I'm calling him a pervert. I'm telling you what you're doing and the system is using that. And this is what was going to be said about you. Oh, yes, it is. It's going to be said about you. And we're going to use this to pass the laws that are going to shut you up. And here we go. I don't know how many of you have heard of this. The Baker Act. That's right, involuntary communities by state. Almost all states have more use I guarantee they have them. Okay, let's go through a bit of this, okay? An act is usually, I love how they use act because this is how they always done it. I mean, think about it, you got the Patriot Act. Act. That's right. The Terrorist Act. Act. This is what lawmakers love doing, okay? So here we are. Usually referred to Baker Act was named after 
Max Baker from state representative from Miami, Florida, okay? Well, we don't care about that part. You know what Baker Act is? You know what this is? I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to show you. This is a mental health law that is in every state of the United States. Your state may have a little different name for it, but it's basically the same thing. It's in every state of the United States. If you are deemed or considered to be possibly dangerous to yourself or you might kill yourself because you do know it's illegal to kill yourself, right? You do understand this, right? They can come and pick you up against your will. If they think that you could possibly be dangerous in any way to hurt yourself or hurt anybody else, that is all they need to pick you up. Now, you think I'm joking? You know I'm not. This is how it works. What happens if I get Baker acted? If a person is taken, okay, and received to a received faculty for evaluation, that's right, of reasons to believe that he or she is mentally ill. And because, okay, of his or her mental illness, the person has re refused voluntary examinations. The person is unable to determine for himself or herself. Do you follow what they're telling you? Now let's go a little further with this, okay? What states, okay, the, the, the lane changes a little bit from state to state. But I can promise you it's in all states of the United States. No lie. You may come up with a list that don't have your state on it and be laughing at me, but you'll be the but I'll be the one laughing at you when they pick you up against your will, the cops do, and they take you to a facility and you're locked onto a floor you can't get out of because you're Baker acted. I'm gonna be laughing at you. Because every state in the United States has a Baker Act law. It's just they've changed the names around. Because we're in the divided states of America. So anyhow, right here, a person with a mental illness, okay, to be involuntary detained for 72 hours. Now that 72 hours depends on the outcome of the evaluation of the mental health department. They can deem that you're not fit for public and you're dangerous to yourself in public and hold you indefinitely until they decide that you're fit for society again. And they will make that decision within 72 hours. Meantime, 72 hours you'll be held while they make that decision. Now you think that ain't going to happen to you men in the manosphere? Yes it is. Yes it is. They've been setting you up the whole time. Well, yeah, but we do videos and I don't put my face out there and they don't know my real name and they don't know where I'm at. You're a clown. You're a total clown. You just posted a video on YouTube owned by Google, owned by the system. They have your IP that goes back to your server, that goes back to your home address with your real name. Yes, they do. See, what will happen is a cop car will show up outside your house. You won't even know the color. There will be a knock at your door. You'll go to your door. They will cuff you and stuff you. Because you're dangerous to yourself and society. And we can't wait till you might possibly go out and commit a crime. Because you're not thinking, well, it's all high mind in the jar. How dare you complain about how women are treating you, even if they are? How dare you complain about you can't have a woman in your life? 
even though your own men's right activist leader told you that there will be a significant number of men that are untouchable, unfuckable. Now, the reason I'm talking so hard about sex isn't because I dislike sex. <coughs> isn't because I don't think that you shouldn't be able to have sex. The fact is sex for decades and decades and decades and decades and decades, and I can keep going on that, is not an open public topic. Never has been. Never was. People didn't talk about sex. Period. Sex was talked about between a couple that got together in private. Of course, naturally, sex is going to happen. See, what they've done is they've taken sex from the back of the list, put it at the front of the list, over sexualized your society, promoted and pushed it, put it in your face, and then you come up here and you openly talk about it, and openly talk about it, and you whine and complain, and you belly and you whine and complain, and you belly and you whine and complain. Not that your complaints ain't legit, because they are. Do you follow what I'm telling you? It's not that you're not accurate about what you're talking about, because you are. It's the fact is that you're being set up. And you're helping them to set you up. I've showed you recently the running history of what they're putting in your face. This is how they passed the red flag laws on guns. And this is how they will pass a mental health law on the manosphere. You're going to say, now why would they do that? To shut you up? Oh yeah. You don't think it won't work? You're going to say, well, I'm not a content producer. I'm not like Steve Hoke or Bill Greathouse or DVS or many others out here, right? No. I'm not a content producer. I only listen to live feeds and leave comments. But once you start typing in the comment box or you leave a significant amount of them, oh, you don't think they don't have that? You don't think they're not reading your comments? You don't think that Google didn't save that chat box for the comments? With the screen name that goes back to your channel, that goes back to your IP, that goes back to your address? You have just kidded yourself. Yes, they do have it. They save it all. See, so they could come after somebody like me or Steve Oka or VVS. So what if he's only a 20-year-old young man? So what if he's never promoted violence? They could go after, how about the dashboard light? What's he going to do? You know what he's going to do? He's going to be handcuffed and taken to a facility. That's right. Then they're going to talk about his content. He says, well, I took it down. So what? They already have a copy of it. You uploaded it. They own the rights to it. They have a copy of it before you took it down. Now they play what you took down for you in a matter of valuation. Right here, you said this. Right here, you said that. Now a few commenters. Well, in this section of this guy's live stream, you've been going to and listening to him for months. You're a cult. You have formed a cult. That's right, you formed ISIS. You formed Al-Qaeda. Now, you think I'm nuts? No, I'm not. That's what these jerks are going to tell you. And because you're not a content producer doesn't save your ass. You've been following this guy's live streams and leaving all these comments and they got them all logged and copied. So now they Baker Act to bring in and right here you type this in the comment box. You said this. Right here you said that. Right here you said this. 
you see how this now works? You're helping them, and you don't even know you are. And that's the reason I'm up here, showing you and telling you what I'm telling you. Now let's go a little further. This has, this is related to the same thing I'm talking about. Imagine being out of a, okay, psychiatric hospital for 24 hours. Okay, imagine being in, not out, in and out of a psychiatric hospital for 24 hours of your life. Imagine finally being ready for discharge out delayed okay but delayed for months that's right but you're being delayed you can't be discharged you're locked in for months because of inadequate funding or staff imagine the staff saying that you would never make it in the community that's right that you'll never make it in the community it happened to Karen, who testified when I was getting discharged from Connecticut Valley Hospital. There were, okay, there were money and staff problems. They delayed me from getting out. They delayed me from getting out. They delayed me from getting out. Do you follow what I'm telling you? Hospital staff were worried okay that there weren't enough money to get me the staff okay it's the staffing that would keep me safe for my own self and keep the public safe for me that there may not be enough resources to have somebody in your life to monitor you so we'll have to keep you here all locked up Oh, you think I'm nuts? No, I'm not. This is what I'm talking about. See, you can be held for 72 hours for an evaluation. See, you can be picked up. That's right. And you can be held for an evaluation right here. They have up to 72 hours. Okay, that they can hold you legally without you breaking the law. During which time they can say, well, we don't feel that they can make it in society without being a threat to themselves or somebody else. They have a mental illness. We're not going to talk about where you got your mental issues from. That's not important to us. What's important to us is that you think with your high mind and brain in a jar. So even if you're not held, think about it. If you're picked up and you're cuffed and stuffed and held for 72 hours and released with a drug in your pocket to take from Big Pharma and antidepressants, what's the chances you're going to come back up and listen to our live stream and start typing in the chat. If you're a content producer, what's the chance that you'll be producing content anymore? I think it's very unlikely. <coughs> I think you won't want them to baker at you again. So I think you'll comply. Yep, I think you'll shut your mouth. And I think they won and you lost. Do you follow what I'm telling you? This is my prediction as to where we're going. I've already shown you the running history. It's not up to me to do your homework for you. I'm not going to do your homework for you. But I'm going to tell you, you are complicit in your own demise. I talked about in a live stream yesterday how easy it is to set you up and how you will follow them right to your own ambush, to your own death. 
and that's exactly what you're doing. You know, so for you followers, you better really use your head. I've told you before, we have the tools to combat the law if they push it, but we don't have the numbers. Because you're all too busy fighting one another, calling each other names, and playing the game. Because everything is a competition. You're so busy with your competition that these people are going to bend you over and have their way with you. Nothing you can do to fix stupid. And the man of fear is loaded with stupid. No lies. And I'm not trying to be an ass to any of you. I'm putting the truth in your face. Now I've given you a running history recently. You come back on my channel, you pay attention to what I've been showing you. And you think about what I just said today. You realize this is where they're going. Because it'll work. See, how else are they going to get you? You're not out breaking laws, right? Yeah. You and I both know we're not out here breaking laws. So how else could they get you? Because you follow the agents who have been leading you down the rabbit hole. Now, I'm not calling VBS an agent because he's not. You can take that to the bank. VDS is no agent. He is a normal Joe like the rest of us. But VDS don't understand because he lacks life experience because of his age. Not his fault. It's not that he isn't accurate about what he talks about because he is. But he lacks life experience and he lacks the knowledge of, and don't want to discuss or educate himself to the root cause. That's why I said, you know, VBS should go ahead and have the air conditioner guy that comes and fixes AC in the summer and he's cooking. Just, fix, just worry about the symptom. Don't worry about fixing it. We only want to worry about the symptom. That way he can stay cooking. He could take his car into the mechanic that only worries about the symptom. That way his car can stay broke down. I know I'm being a smart ass now. But I'm being a smart ass because this is what stupid people do. They ignore the real truth when it's right in their face. Because they don't want to acknowledge that. They don't want to talk about that. The root cause is where your real enemy. The ones that's done this to all of us are. But you'd rather fight somebody else that's not in a position because you're a coward. And I'm not calling DBS a coward. I'm calling the manosphere. The majority of all of the men in the manosphere are nothing but yellow belly cowards. You're afraid of not fitting in? You won't stand up to somebody because of a position they hold in life? Oh, but, 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 but they got a badge. Oh, but, 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 but that's a government official. And that's why they got you bent over and having their way with you. And that's why shit like this is going to happen to you. Keep talking about sex, guys. Okay, VDS, you just keep talking about that sex. You just acknowledge that sex all you want. Okay, pervert? I'm sorry to call you pervert, BBS, because I'm not the one calling you. The system would be calling you because you helped them create a law through talking about sex. See, people like Girls' Rights, what? She can tell you you're unfuckable. People like Monday Forever Loan Monday? He can tell you and talk about it. He's not going to be the victim of the law. He's the person that helped them to bring it in. You followed him. VDS, he's not an agent. He's not a plant. He's another Joe like me or Steve. He'll be a victim of this. 
Do you follow what I'm telling you? And it's all because you want to keep talking about sex. That's right. You want to keep whining about how women treated you. Not that you're wrong, because you're right. You're correct. But they don't want you talking about the problem. They want you to shut the fuck up, excuse my language. And they don't want to acknowledge TFL because we actually talk about the root cause. They don't want that out there. Because that means you'd understand who done this to it. You would understand that we have to stand together. And we have to use the very things they've done to us as weapons to throw back in their face to overturn what they're going to try to do to us. But we ain't going to do that now, are we? You know why? Because you'd rather have your competition in your sport, your game, and arena and stay divided and keep fighting one another and ignoring me. And I'm just going to smile at you when it happens. And then you'll shut up because you won't want to be Baker at you again. And you'll become complicit. Yep, that's where we're going. Y'all have a good one now.